When I was five years old, I had a pet fish we loved to eat. But one day, Mr. Bubbles was no longer hungry. And so I asked my best friend, Auntie Perla, where are you? What happened to Mr. Bubble? Auntie Perla told me that Mr. Bubbles went away to Dreamland, but he would wake up the next morning. And so, I went to sleep. That night, something magical happened. When I woke up the next day, Mr. Bubbles was awake. He looked a little different though. It took me a few years to realize that I'd been tricked. I also had a pet turtle named Shelly. I love Shelly very much. Shelly would often come out of his shell to play with me. But one day, I found out that Shelly went far away and would never come back. Paula, where did Shelly go? Oh, Nick. Shelly gone to a place far away, not coming back. But why? How did this happen? I thought Shelly liked us. Of course Shelly likes you. Only thing is that he is already old and decided to go far away and not coming back anymore. But I still want to play with him. Don't worry, Nick. Anyway, he left his shell. He's not smelly anymore. You can bring to your room and mom will allow it. Okay, let's bring him in. I want to sleep with him tonight. Okay, let's go. I didn't think too much about it back then. I guess I was just happy that Shelly could see my room at last. A few years later, my pet dog Zenon fell very sick and it was time to put him down. Please doctor, I don't want you to bring Zenon far, far away. I want him to stay. And here, Zinon is in pain. He's very sick and needs to be put down. But if you bring Zinon far, far away, I will never get to see him again. I don't want to lose my best friend. Don't cry, Nia. Auntie is always here, your friend, okay? Okay. Whatever it is, Zenon is here always, and Shelly, okay? I let the vet put Zenon to sleep. It wasn't as scary as it seemed. He just fell asleep. Hola. Come, take a seat. But nothing could prepare me for this. Hola, you have two days left. What's your plan? Um, I'm sorry, Mom. I need to go back home because my mother is so sick. I need to take care of her. Oh, alright then. I'll make the arrangement. Please pack by Saturday then. I'm sorry, Mom. Thank you very much. Bye. 
but mommy, but um, hello, mommy, are you still there? Another mate did come, but no one, no one could replace Auntie Paula. And so that night, I went to dreamland. I went far, far away, and I saw her there. There was Paula. Shelly and there was Zeno. It was bright, it was beautiful, and they all were happy there. Maybe they were happy without me. Maybe they were waiting for me. Someday, I'll go to a place far, far away as well. <laughs>